Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 22nd of 2021, well it is titled Explosions from the White Dwarf Star RS Oaf. So what do we see here? Well, here is an example of what we call a nova. Now a nova occurs when a compact star known as a white dwarf star pictured to the left hand side here, accretes material from a ordinary star or a giant star. So you can see material streaming off the reddish star into an accretion disk around the white dwarf star. And as it does this, the white dwarf builds up material on its surface. Since the exterior of that star, the outer layers are primarily hydrogen gas, that is what is building up on the surface of the white dwarf. And eventually a critical mass of it will be built up, and a nuclear explosion will take place on the surface of the white dwarf. And this will cause a nova, or a new star, to appear in the sky. Now that is quite different than a supernova star. A supernova would occur when a star completely explodes. So a nova like this one could occur multiple times and in fact has over the past few centuries. It has been observed to undergo outbursts as it builds up enough material. Now what could happen in this case and what astronomers think might happen in a hundred thousand years or so is that eventually the white dwarf star will build up enough mass to reach its limit. There is a limit to how massive a white dwarf can be. Any, and if you add more material beyond that it will completely collapse and implode and then finally explode in a supernova explosion. You can think of it as stacking books on a rickety old table. You can put a few there but eventually you're going to get to the point where you'll put that one book too many and the, the thing will collapse. Well the same thing will happen here eventually one too many particles will be added to the white dwarf star and it will push it over its limit and pushing it into a supernova phase. Now when the supernova phase occurs the nuclear explosions do not occur on the surface of the white dwarf but throughout the entire white dwarf instantaneously and that will cause the entire star to rip itself apart in what is called a supernova explosion and in fact this is a type 1 supernova explosion there are two different types type 2 is a massive star at the end of its life type 1 is a star like a white dwarf that eventually reaches its limit and explodes the type 1 supernovae are very important to astronomers as they are a way to be able to map out distances out to the edge of the universe. So when they occur they are a good way to calculate distances and of course finding one close like this would be a good way to help calibrate that scale very accurately. Of course, since we don't know whether it will happen in a hundred years or a thousand or a hundred thousand, it's not something we can depend on happening any time in the near future. But eventually, this is the type of star that astronomers believe will become a type 1 supernova. So that was our picture of the day for August the 22nd of 2021. It was titled Explosions from White Dwarf Star RS Oaf. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.